Good afternoon, everybody. Now, in the UK, the mainstream media today is engaged in a huge psyop. And the psyop involves two characters that I've never heard of before. Uh, one is called Lady Susan Hussey, uh, who apparently has worked in Buckingham Palace since 1960. Uh, for 62 years, uh, is Prince William's godmother and was uh, a lady-in-waiting to um, Queen Elizabeth II. And the other is a character called Ngozi Fulani, uh, who I've also never heard of before. And apparently she runs a charity called Sister Saver. Uh, Sister spelled S-I-S-T-A-H, which is the not the correct spelling of the word sister, but never mind. Um, apparently that is a charity that helps African and Caribbean women in the UK. And the story has been blown up out of all proportion uh, on something that really is just a storm in a teacup. So apparently this woman, Ngozi Fulani, was at a reception in Buckingham Palace organised by um, Camilla, uh, the King's consort, um, to honour charity workers. And then Lady Susan Hussey, who's 83 years old, apparently approached her and asked her where she was from, uh, etc., where she was really from, uh, and so on. Now, this is a conversation that I've had many times. And to be honest, it's a bit of an annoying conversation to have because I know when it's going to happen and I know uh, when you know <laughs> where it's going to go like it hasn't happened to me uh, for three years or so it happened to me uh, many times in the past someone comes up and they say to you or to me where are you from and I say I'm from England and then they say no where where are you really from and I say well I grew up in Sussex and no no where are you really from I'm just, I've just told you. No, where are your parents from? Uh, okay, well, my mum's from England. Uh, my father's from Jamaica. Oh, you're Jamaican. Oh, I like Bob Marley. I like diversity. And I'm like, what? This is absolute ridiculous. Uh, you know, I, I, I know when someone starts this kind of conversation, where it's going to go. Uh, the person is being fake friendly. Uh, and this is, you know, I don't know why people even bother to do this, to be honest. Oh, I just walk away and I leave them and I go and find someone more pleasant to talk about. Now, apparently, this is what happens um, in Buckingham Palace. But instead of just walking away and just leaving it alone and going to find someone else to talk about, it's been spread to the mainstream media uh, and they put it all over the papers. They're continuing to talk about it. They'll probably talk about it for another three or four days uh, as an example <coughs> of how Britain is racist, how they found a racist. And now this racist has been thrown out of her job uh, for being racist. That's the story. Uh, in the papers. Absolutely, completely ridiculous, over-egging, uh, over-blowing this story, which, which, you know, shouldn't even be on page 20. It's so irrelevant to everything else that's going on. Why this is a psyop is the timing. You've got to think about these things. This is a total distraction and diversion from something else that was news, real news this week, which is far, far bigger and more significant and more important to the nation of the United Kingdom. And that is the data from the 2021 census was released by the Office uh, for National Statistics. And it shows that London, Manchester and Birmingham are all now minority white British cities. The three biggest cities in the UK all now have white, white British people are a minority in all of the cities. And in Manchester, not Manchester, Birmingham, white people in total are a minority in Birmingham. That's not quite the case in London. White British people in London are 37% now. And that's down from, you know, over 10% in the last 10 years.
Now, they're saying that's not totally a minority majority city, because if you add all the white people up, it still comes to about 53% in London, but that's down from over 60% 10 years ago. But you know, when they mention this, it's like white British and Germans and Jews and Poles and Ukrainians and Roma and Romanians and Bulgarians and Albanians and Kosovans all added together. You put all of those groups together and French and American, everybody is white. And it still comes to slightly over 50 percent. So that so the mainstream media are saying, oh, no, no, it's not. You're wrong. White people are still a, a majority in London. But that's if you include all of the other groups of which uh, many of whom have very, very different cultures to British culture, for example, Albanians, and so on. Uh, so you can't really, there's not too much in common uh, with those two cultures. But white British are now uh, a minority in London, and that's reducing significantly. And same in, uh, you've got, this is at Birmingham, other cities and towns with a total majority of non-white people uh, include Leicester, Slough and Luton and the number of white people is reducing inexorably in those places and there are other places that are catching up around the country as well with the reduction and the demographic change that is happening in the United Kingdom is really incredibly rapid and uh, it is leading to all kinds of cultural and social change, which the indigenous people of the United Kingdom, white British people, have not been asked about, and many, many of them do not want rapid mass demographic change and rapid mass immigration to the point where in London and in Birmingham and in Manchester, and in Leicester, you literally have replacement migration, as was written uh, as a plan on the UN's website in the year 2000. And people say, oh, that's a conspiracy theorist. That's uh, something from uh, the extreme fringes of politics. And uh, you shouldn't say that. But it's actually happening. And the statistics, the government statistics show that it's been happening and it's accelerated over the last 10 years. Now, that is what everybody should be talking about for the next two weeks. Not some storm in a teacup, silly conversation that happened in a party in Buckingham Palace where everyone was getting free food and drink. So that is why this is a PSYOP. It's to distract from what's going on. And it is, again, to level the accusation that uh, Britain is full of racists, that white people are all racists in Britain, which is completely, absolutely not true. Look, this lady, Lady Susan Hussey, as I said, I've never heard of her. She's 83. Um, I don't know if she actually said what she was alleged uh, to have said. But she's been removed from her honorary position that she had. I don't think she was in paid employment uh, anymore, but she's been uh, removed from whatever position she had, which is really a shame considering that she she served for 62 years and, and no one had said you know, a word against her before, but now this accusation has been levelled for a media psyop and she's the fall guy or the fall woman. Uh, for this, uh, because this is a story to divert from uh, the shocking findings of the 2021 census. But we need to be talking about the 2021 census and what it says, and uh, where the demographics of this country are going, and what kind of country are we going to be uh, left with. And living it in 2031, 2041, 2051, when the next census has come out. Now, you know, I'll be around maybe for another 30 years and then I'll be gone. Um, but, you know, kids who are white British today are going to be living in a very different uh, country if there is a continuation of this rapid mass immigration and rapid demographic change. But another just final point I would make 
is that if anybody says that they uh, don't like this change that's going on, they're you know in the UK. This demographic change in the UK, they are pilloried as someone who is uh, a very nasty person, gets smeared with all kinds of words. Uh, the, the Tory MP, ex-minister Sajid Javid, uh, responded to that on Twitter the other day saying, so what? Doesn't matter. So what? He didn't say it doesn't matter, but he says, so what? That's the implication. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. It's like it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. You see, these kind of people who are in all of the political parties in Westminster, they don't care about the country and the culture, the nation, if you like. To them, the United Kingdom is a space, it's a state, and it doesn't matter who's there, what culture is there, what society is there. They just see it as a, as a, a collection of, of people who pay taxes. That's, what, that's how they see that, us as a state. Or I see this as a nation with a history and a future and we should be preserving our culture and our society uh, that our forefathers have handed down to us so that we can pass it on to our children and grandchildren. But let's take another country, for example, South Africa. And there is a huge reduction in white people in South Africa. But that's to be celebrated. Everyone in, on the, in the global elite thinks it's a really good thing that white people are being reduced and uh, kicked out of South Africa <laughs> because um, <laughs> they, even though, sorry, even though they've lived there, many, many of the farmers in South Africa have lived there for hundreds and hundreds of years, though they are now the minority in South Africa, they are not celebrated as a minority. Uh, in South Africa, they themselves are pilloried and uh, are being attacked all over the place. It's one of the most dangerous um, professions in the world to be a farmer, a white farmer in South Africa. And as a minority in South Africa, they get no protection and uh, no comfort at all from the people in the global elites who talk about supporting minorities. In Britain, if you're a non-white minority, you get a lot of support. If South Africa, if you're a white minority, you get no support whatsoever. There's a glaring inconsistency in how they treat the two different groups. Well, there you go. Um, but I just wanted to point this out, that this really is uh, a non-story which shouldn't even be in the papers, but it is there because this is the game that the mainstream media, the New World Order are playing when they should be talking about the massive demographic change. They've twisted and inverted everything to push a story that Britain is racist and therefore we don't talk about the census and we don't talk and think about its ramifications. Well, let's turn it back turn it the right way up again and start talking about the census and what it means for the future rather than this stupid storm in a teacup story.